What's happening, y'all? I'm at Old Wally World, and I'm gonna grab some weights. Um, just kind of whatever sizes I think would make good uh, casting spoons. From my experience so far, this size right here. I don't know what it is. But that size makes makes a casting jig that throws a country mile and it's not too big so the small stuff can still hit it like um, smaller skip jacks and the uh, hardtail jacks and stuff like that i can catch a bait with these but also spanish mackerel will whack them so love these i use these smaller ones to stack up three deep to make a long skinny glass metal shape <clears throat> as far as hooks go back to my old standard my mustad uh live bait hooks and silver to add a little more flashies or one knots they should do fine man you could probably get crazy with uh, tapes foil tapes duct tape you could definitely coat that in duct tape I've done some of that but I'll tell you what best thing is either just the cheap Walmart paint or dollar store nail polish nail polish I just do one or two at a time they put glitter in it it's awesome let's get back to the house and make some jigs What you got? Vacuum for the pool. We did dirty. 3288. Thank you. 3288. Holy smokes. Who maintenance on the pool? You why pool one? maintenance is expensive. Is pool maintenance expensive? Comment below. Where's the cheap nail polish, lady? I don't know, man. I didn't eat because I thought I was I told you to eat. You said, I'm oh, not hungry. I'll be done. Oh, there it is. Look at the glitter effects. Man, you can't tell me that wouldn't be killer. I caught so much on gold. But look, Dollar General, dollar. You know, just look for the real glittery stuff. The sh glittery gold, the glittery, glitterly, glitterly? Glittery silver. All right, let's go ahead and make one of these uh, tie casting jigs. These things are awesome, cheap to make. As you saw in Walmart, this is actually my favorite size. This is the best all around. Throws like a bullet, still plenty of weight, but not too big to where you can't catch bait or, or Spanish or predators you end up with a plug that looks like this So the three-quarter ounce is my favorite <clears throat> all around To throw a 20 pound test or whatever. So first thing I do is I get this kingfish leader I put a picture of it right here. Here's the kingfish leader that I use It's the I find the heaviest wire that I can this is like 180 pound Teresa mm -hmm. so. <clears throat> I'm gonna cut off a piece of two inch two inch uh, piece of this wire then I'm going to cut another one. It's going to be my ends to attach the hook and the swivel to. Okay. Now I'm going to take my pliers and bend that in half. So I get like a little safety pin thing. I've, I've been, this is going to evolve over the years. I'm just kind of figuring this out as I go. And the more I'm doing them, the, you know, the better I'm getting. So a little bobby pin. Then I insert one of the little bobby pins in the hole on one side. And I insert the other one on the other side. And I don't really care which way they go in or if they're even or anything. And if I want, I like to have a good bit hanging out. And if they're not, if they're hanging out too much, I tap them in. This is going to squish down, remember, so you don't want to cover up your your uh your little bobby pins with to squish it down and make it stay so then i just kind of start shaping it of course the more you pound on it the flatter this lead's going to get so, but i'm going to kind of round it like this so it starts to close in on that little bobby pin i made and i'm going to flip it and i'm going to round it again so it's closing in on my bobby pin Flip it again. I'm kind of smoothing it out as I go, rounding it toward that edge. Where it, see how it's closing in my bobby? See how it's kind of closing in around? I learned that the hard way. I actually had a fish or two pull these out. But since I've been closing them in, they're not. And it will probably put some epoxy there just to make sure, too. But look, that's almost perfect. <clears throat> Whether it's rounded and flat, it's, either way, it's going to spin. And that sucker throws like a bullet. 
At this point, it's pretty much just going to be um, painting it with either nail polish or just cheap spray paint from Walmart. <clears throat> and a lot of times I'll hang these up once I put hooks on them and spray paint them white, but let's head into the house and paint this guy with some nail polish. I'll show you how good that nail polish, dollar store nail polish works. All right, so at this point, you can make this fit your needs. This, I'm sure this will catch everything from pike to, to Spanish mackerel and everything in between. I'm going to use a single hook because we notice when we get into ladyfish and Spanish mackerel getting these big schools, treble hooks thrashing around aren't nearly as handy as the single hook. So I'm going to go ahead and take a couple of rings, split them. There's your hook. I have to put this swivel on here because these suckers spin, don't they, Teresa? Yes, they do. We noticed that last time we were out. Yep. Ta-da! <laughs> that by itself would probably catch a lot of fish. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this all one color by painting it with my silver. This is from the dollar store. Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. This, this one came from right here at the dollar store in our corner. Oh, Dollar General. Yeah, and this Dollar General is LA Colors, one buck. It's got a lot of glitter in there, which we've already caught a ton of hardtail, Spanish mackerel, and ladyfish on this color. So I'm pretty partial to it already. So I'm going to go ahead and paint her up. I like the, the, the uh, cheap nail polish because it it's just so simple and I can just do one or two and it's so thick and their teeth don't tear it up now I go ahead and paint everything that's not silver the hook is silver so that's good so I'll paint this side we'll swivel the sea swivels are black so I'm gonna paint them up and then I'm gonna let that dry then we'll come back and paint the other side Another thing I love about this cheap nail, glittery nail polish is it dries mega fast. Yeah, that was just a couple minutes, you know. Flip it over. All right, so here's what we're left with. Just this, this guy, nice and shiny silver. Now this thing, I was throwing it off the pier and I was out throwing just about everybody on the pier and I was hooking up quicker because I could throw twice as far. So, <clears throat> very silvery, very flashy. Let's go ahead and put an eye on it. Just add a little more flash. There you go, there's your eye. And we'll just let that dry. Flip it over, do the same thing. That sucker's done. You can fish with that like it is. 